What's up guys, it's Bucky and welcome to a video that was one of the most requested videos of all time. People asking, how do you record my Xbox game footage? And this is a little different than everyone else because this is the best way to record Xbox game footage or uh, PlayStation 3. So if you have the idea that you want to make videos like Machinima or Machinima Respawn, or if you saw any of my videos, you saw the quality of them, and the quality cannot be beat on YouTube or anywhere else. So if you want to learn how to do it, here's how. There are two main, well three main ways really, where you can record your video gameplay from the TV screen. The first one is pointing a camcorder at the TV screen. This is the worst way to do it, but if you have no other way, this is you can do it. The video would be poor, the audio would be even worse, and it's just not that great. So in the last solution, you can do it that way. The second way, in the two most debated ways, this is half of them, is to get a capture card. And this is called a Black Magic Intensity Pro. And so many people have said that this is the way, you gotta do it this way. If you want high def video from your Xbox and put it on YouTube, this is how you should do it. However, I got this, and this is what I did first. This was my first option, how I first started to record. And it is, I'm, I mean, the next thing I'm gonna recommend is the Hoppage HD PVR. And I usually give you guys options and say, all right, this is my input, make your recommendation, but I'm not gonna make any recommendations. I am begging you guys, please do not use a capture card. It is a pain in the butt. It it won't work. You don't have a good enough computer for it. I don't have a good enough computer for it and I have a $4,000 computer. You need to set up weird stuff like RAID on your computer and it causes a whole bunch of problems. So Black Magic Intensity Pro, if you have anyone recommending this to you, punch them in the head because it is not good at all. So throw this away. Now, what you want to get in the way to record Xbox or PS3 HD footage and put it on YouTube or anywhere else is this. This isn't actually, this is just a piece of paper, but it's actually down there because I'm using it right now, so I can't, you know, hold it up. It's called an HD PVR. It's made by a company called like Hop Hog or something. But anyways, if you type that in Google, you can find it. I think it's like a couple hundred bucks. And this is the best way to do it. What it is, I'll show you in a second how to set everything up. It's a box that goes next to your Xbox, and what happens is your Xbox, instead of connecting directly to your TV, it passes through this box, which records the footage in HD, and then sends it to your TV with no lag time at all. It was something specifically made to do just this, record Xbox footage in HD. So this is why you need it. And even if your TV isn't HD, you can still record it in HD. So that is the most cool thing ever. So um, in the next part, I'm gonna show you how to set everything up. But like I said, do not get the Blackmagic Intensity Pro no matter how many reviews you read because I'm talking from personal first-hand experience. This PVR is what you wanna get. Google it and trust me, you'll thank me. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to set it up. So here is the basic setup hey, for how this works. And guys, don't look at my shorts, please, you perverts. So what happens is you got your Xbox right here. Now instead of the cables going directly to your TV, which is up here, they pass through the hoppage, or I'm just going to call it the HD PVR because I don't know how to say the company's names. They pass through here. And then the cables another set of cables, HD cables, go to your TV. That's these white cables right here. So this records everything. So if you're saying, all right, then how the F does it get to my computer? Well, there's also a USB cable right here. And this goes from here to your computer, which is over here. You guys can't see it, but trust me, there's a computer over there. Now if you're saying, all right, then how does it get power? Well, there's also a power supply that goes from here into the wall. You guys can't see that either, but that's how it works. So pretty much there are four cables connecting to this. The cable to the Xbox, the cable to the TV, and this lets you play Xbox, of course. 
the cable to the computer which lets you transfer video from here to your computer and the power cable which if you don't know what that is then uh, you shouldn't even be watching this so in the next uh, section I'm going to show you what cables go where alright guys so here is the back of my uh, HD PVR and here is the setup that you want first of all on the brochure it says that there's three different ways to connect your Xbox to your HD PVR you want to get these cables right here um, these are video composite HD cables I think that's what they're called and you can get them from Best Buy for like 30 bucks what it is is one of the ends looks like that um, says rocket fish and the other end looks like this you can see it says rocket fish and there are five cables that you need to connect there's actually the sixth one which is useless but you don't need that what you do is plug this into your Xbox right there and plug this into let's see it's the end section it's a set of cables on the bottom right there so that's the very first thing that you want to do second you need this cable which is these five cables for HD and these come with your HD PVR so you don't need to buy these and what you need to do is connect these for your out and then go ahead and send that to your TV which mine is right there and just plug it in like a well if you have a HD TV then you'll know where to plug them in now after that what you want to do is take the USB cord and this also comes with HD PVR and it's right here plug this into the in this is the cord that allows you to transfer the data from this box to your computer so take that cable and plug it into here, right here, and then plug it into any USB port on your computer. Oh, nice computer, I wonder who built that? Myself. And the last thing that you wanna do is of course give it power right here. And after that, well, I'll show you what to do. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in a second.